Hello people, this is Ben from Wave, and today we're taking a look at Bitcoin. So as usual, I will leave you the link popping up on the top right of your screen for the longer term accounts. As you can see, I am trading this account for long term. However, I do have some different accounts available as every decent audition should have. Now, saying this, um, so there's as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the intraday. So we're going to zoom in to the one hour chart in a matter of seconds. And as you can see, one thing we're going to explore is the possibility we have wave four in place here. So with that in mind, let's go on to the one hour chart. And from here, so now TradingView likes to move my waves. Um, as you probably know, if you've been watching. So what do I see? So I see a few different possibilities. Um, so I can count. Let me do this. Okay, so I can count five waves up into wave one. One, two, three, four, flat four, sharp two. So sideways four, sharp two, up for wave five. Three and ones are assuming in length. Wave five is extended. WXY into wave two. So from here, it would mean that we could be into some sort of wave one, two, upside. Is that possible? Yes. Is that what is going to happen? I have no clue. If I knew I would be rich, and uh, if I'd be rich, I wouldn't be here. I can assure you that. Um, so, yes. So that's a possibility. Why am I placing wave one here? Well. I see this as a five wave move. So that could be A, B, C. One, two, three, four. I mean, I lied it. One, two, three, four, five. It's possible. Now, um, that's one way to look at it, uh, assuming we have a bottom in place. Now, with the same assumption, um, hence we have a bottom in place, another way to look at it is this one. One, two, three, four, five with a truncated fifth, which is arguable. Uh, and then here you would be into some sort of a wave one, two, and upside. Now, arguable, but possible. Uh, so that's another way to look at it. And once again, we're taking a look at a potential wave one in place. Now, you could argue this looks like up sideways and potentially and possibly up. I would say you were right. It's possible. It's highly possible. So uh, corrective of 49k, that's one way to look at it. Three ways up into wave A, sideways into wave B or X. Um, you could count it as WXY here. Let me show you. You could say this is WXY. This is possible. Uh, so this would go here. And uh, here you could have either one, two, three, four, five, or X, else, not X, but or else. Uh, let me show you. If this was wave W, here you could have had X, A, B, C into wave Y. And then downside. Oh, now, obviously, this scenario would mean. So let me put it here. This scenario would mean that we're not in wave four, but either something like this is possible. So let me take you back to the daily, where we have wave A. We're now having some sort of wave B, what is usually called a connector, and then downside. Or still, let's say this is not wave A, um, we're still, you know, if we're correcting, we're not done correcting. That's what I'm trying to say. So obviously it means that we do not have a bottom in place here, whatever that bottom is, whether that was, is wave two, is wave four, whatever. And we are looking for the downside. That's what this last count means. It's as simple as that. Um, so let me take you back to the hourly. So that's when you to look at it. It's also possible, last but not least, uh, that uh, you know we could um, 
we could continue to move sideways into some sort of a triangle, then up and then down. That's also possible. Um, but uh, yeah, so I showed you a few different scenarios. As you can tell, one is you know bullish, saying in some way, shape, or form we have a wave one, and the other one is more conservative, saying that it's possible we will continue higher, but one more like higher, and then we fall back lower. Now, at this point, you may ask Barrett, which one is it going to be? And once again, as usually say, as I usually say, I have no clue. If I knew, I wouldn't be here. So, what I can tell you is, well, you can look at volume. I can monitor volume on the daily, so larger time frames. You can monitor volume, and um, so far, by looking at volume, what it's telling me is that, you know, there's potential for upside. So yesterday's move was done, you know, we pushed higher with higher volume and uh, we broke uh, yesterday highs. That's also true with today. Now in the weekly, uh, we're still trading below last week high. So if we take out last week high, that's additional confidence to the upside. Um, and uh, so it's going to be interesting how this week ends up. Uh, but to be fair, if I want to be fair to myself as well as you guys, this kind of looks like a three-wave move. I'm not going to lie. So was this wave A or wave 1? I don't know, but so far it looks like we should get another push higher, perhaps towards 65. As I always say, 65 is very important. It's between 50 and 80, which are both, you know, 5 and 8 are FIB numbers, and they're very strong in the market. So I guess we're going to find out um, soon, and we'll see. That being said, if you enjoy the content and you want to stay updated, I'd appreciate if you subscribe as well. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.